All right, traders, I am back again with another video. In this video, we're going to look at Kumo breakout opportunities. We have a couple pairs that have a few opportunities for a Kumo breakout, which is one of the most basic trades that we look at when we're looking at Ichimoku and considered probably one of your better trades. But to me, they're a little bit risky and they do give you good profit once if they do work out. But we're going to look at them and look at the things that you look at. Now, this is the U.S. dollar CAD, and you can see here, this was a Kumo breakout. As the market breaks out of the cloud, that's a Kumo breakout. But you need all your signals to be bearish if you're going for a short breakout and bullish for a long breakout. So the bearish signals are here you have price breaking out of the cloud, so that's bearish. Then you have uh, a death cross right here with your green line, which is your Tinkinson, and the blue line, which is your Kijinson. All right, and then you have um, your future. All right, so you have a, Q a Kumo twist, which is your Cinco span A crossing Cinco span B to the downside. So that's bearish. All right, and then finally you have um, Chico span here below price. Now even better is when Chico span is below the Kumo cloud here, because once it's below the cloud here, then that signifies that um, there's no real resistance uh, support level down here based off of Ichimoku that's going to hold us from moving to the downside. So we look at this level here and watch to see if the market can make it to that level. So that's just an example of what a Kumo breakout looks like when it happens. So we're going to look at some um, pairs right now, starting off with the Euro Aussie. All right, so here with the Euro Aussie, you could see we don't have that the price breaking out of the cloud yet so once it breaks out of the cloud and more than likely you should see it break out of the cloud but I'm looking at the daily time frame so these are all daily time frame breakouts here so again you got a future that's still bright so your future is still bullish but I believe once the market closes below this cloud you'll see the um, crossover here so you have a Kumo twist that'll be bearish your future will be bearish you got a death cross right here again so that's a bearish signal and you got Chico Span below Tinkinson and Kijinsen, but also below price. So you don't have no real significant issues for Chico Span until, until it gets to this level here, which is your cloud level. Now, not a super thick cloud, so sometime you'll see the market hit that level and pull back possibly. So pretty much as mentioned before, when Chico Span hits a level, sometime you see price bounce also. So basically Chico Span's hitting the support and resistance levels the past support and resistance levels and then the market honors those past levels that's why you see it bounce at levels and then the market is bouncing also it's really the market bouncing at past support and resistance levels and you're just seeing the past from 26 days or 26 periods based on what time frame you're trading being that this is the daily time frame you're seeing the 26 past um 26 days past time frame all right so that's what we're looking at here with the um, the Euro Aussie, a good opportunity when that happens, if that happens, watch it go to the downside. Now, I'm not going to discuss targets because there's a bunch of targets that you could look for. But what you want to do for me, I go to my left. I look to the left and I always look for the support level. And I just follow the market down to those support and resistance levels and see if we can make it to those levels. And I watch the price action. And if price action suggests that we're going to go lower, then I continue to stay lower. I continue to stay short. But if price suggests we're going to pull pull back or, or reverse, then I'll get out of the trade quite possibly depending on what the profit is and what the situation is. Now you could also put your stop losses. Where are you going to put your stop losses? A lot of times trading the daily time frame, it's a lot, big stop loss. For me, I like to be below, I mean above or below the fractal level. And sometime Kijinsen, that's a super big stop loss. And that's what Ichimoku system um, wants you to use for stop losses. Basically because it, it um this distance here with the Kijinsen level, the reason why you use that as your stop loss is because it accounts for the market volatility. And that's what you're seeing when you see the market volatility. A lot of times the market doesn't really pull back to that level in a good trend. All right, so that's there's how it accounts for that volatility. To me, I could just put it above the fractal. But then another way that you could do it is the candle that breaks. So when that candle closes, put your stop loss up above that candle. Or if it breaks to the upside, put your stop loss below it. Because 
really you don't want to see a breakout come back to you um, because you want to see that thing move to the downside or to the upside depending on the direction now also you could get into a drawdown so that's why you put your stop loss at these levels that I just mentioned but if you use just the candle then if the market pulls back after the breakdown after the breakout you're gonna be probably stopped out all right so these are basic trades basic trade opportunities basic basic trade setups we're gonna go from the euro Aussie now to the euro um, the euro New Zealand dollar we have five pair we're gonna look at here all right so the euro New Zealand dollar on the daily time frame you could see now let's look at the signals once price closes below the cloud that's a bearish signal and then you could also see that you already have a bearish Kumo twist so your future is dark um, you got a death cross you got Chiku span below Tinkinson and Kijinson but approaching this cloud level so you may see a little bounce in this area where the market goes down and pulls back and then maybe goes to the downside for good so that's another opportunity here um, not major to look at or talk about but there is a level here that we want to be aware of so let me just um, this level right here where the market is approaching this point to this point here and pretty much where the flatness is that's kind of like a range level where we were the for a little bit here you can see where it's pretty much in this area right below the box the um, flat Kijinson but basically we started maybe this is the level see the flat Kijinson level you could see where the market is flat there and hasn't broken above or below this level for the past um, 26 periods that's why you don't see the mark that's why you see a flat um, Kijinson here all right so that's a kind of like a range level so the market could bounce on that level even we get a false breakout and the market goes back to the upside and stays in this little range but trading that breakout not much of a it looks like a good opportunity for you to take a good trade here I mean because you, you could see the whole market though this thing is in a full uptrend now a lot of times the market will get into an uptrend and then flatten out a little bit then pull back to the downside or the upside depending on what side you're, you're um, trading and then it'll go back to the upside or downside depending on which side the previous move was so I would still look at this breakout opportunity um, but let the market close for a full breakout breakouts aren't breakouts until the market closes above or below those levels all right so let's move on to our next pair which is the pound Aussie all right all right so the pound Aussie is yielding another opportunity with a Kumo breakout here um, still got a future that is still bright but you might get that turnover once we close below um, we may not close we may see the market pull higher because you're getting some distance on Kijins in here and the market likes to stay within equilibrium so this is your equilibrium point all right so the market doesn't want to get too far out of equilibrium when it does you'll see it pull back so we may not get the breakout here immediately or anytime soon it may pull back and then break out but once it breaks outside of this cloud you've got a Kumo breakout because we're in the cloud now now for breaks to the upside I wouldn't take the trade to the upside necessarily because that's not uh, based off of the Ichimoku rules you wouldn't have all these signals that you need bullish you have all signals pretty much bearish except the uh, price breaking above the cloud and your your Kumo twist is bullish right now but if we break below the cloud here you'll see the Kumo twists become bearish you'll see price below the cloud you'll see your death cross right here and you see Chiku span struggling to get through to, uh, Kijinsen right now but once it does then it has a thick cloud to get through so mark your levels and watch to see how far the market can move down to until ultimately maybe down to these flat levels if you get the breakout here now if you get a pullback here you could have a one two three pattern and then you'll be searching for four where you would use your Ichimoku advanced um, observation theory and look for your targets at that point but that's what we're looking at the, with the pound Aussie so you got a good opportunity there so let's look at the pound CAD all right so the pound CAD is another pair that's attempting to break out you got all bearish signals except price isn't out of the cloud yet your Kumo future is bearish you got um, a death cross here 
you have price stand below Tinkinson. That's a strong trend to the downside when price cannot violate back upside of Tinkinson. And then you got a breakout here with Tinkinson, uh, your Chiku spam breaking below Tinkinson and Kijinson. So you have a strong breakout to the downside. So that's one thing you're going to look for. And with those things together, you're going to look for the price to close below the cloud for that Kumo breakout and then start marking your support levels to the left to find where your target levels will be so that will be your um, pound CAD opportunity and then we'll look at one more which will be your pound New Zealand dollar so your pound New Zealand dollar same thing here future is dark so you got a bearish future um, death cross you got Chico span below price and below Tinkinson and Kijinson struggling near the um, Kumo cloud here you got support at this level here so you may have issues getting through that point because this was your um, resistance and support. These levels line up pretty much in this area here. So you may have trouble getting through this cloud. And you can see there's little candles right now, little indecision. So you may see that pullback. So I'd be kind of careful with this one here. Um, mark these levels right here. And you'll notice that this is a flat support level. So this breakout could be an issue there. A lot of times people don't even look at anything else with the price past history and just go based on the Kumo breakout on that so those are the opportunities the Kumo breakout opportunities that you will see this week there's no other opportunities with the Forex pairs that I've noticed um, this is all daily time frame stuff so that's based on the daily time frame so hopefully guys that this helps you out and until next time have a great one God bless so long